Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our Yakuza 4 Remastered. Let's play on to episode 8 now. Getting back into some story, also trying out new audio settings. I'm always trying to find something that works, guys. I know my audio is not the best. I'm trying. Anyone have any ideas? You know, let me know with a comment. That's that's about it. Uh, like I said, we're going to get into back into the story. At least I'm going to start recording the first half because, you know, the way we've been. Sp well, I've been recording, you know, I only do like the first half and then I'll come back a bit later. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So if you are excited, you know, let me know with a comment. Leave me a like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Just why haven't you? It's simple. Just it's one button. Anyways, I'll just load up the last game to start a chapter four, The Promise. Let's see. Where did we leave off with? I don't remember. March 4th, 3 p.m. So that's why the Shia bot has been on our asses all this time. Yep. And how are things on your end? Any luck tracking down our Ison? Not in the slightest. Not yet. I see. To Tojo HQ's got the entire clan looking for him, though. I'm sure it won't be long before they find him. They'll serve him up to those Oeno bastards on a silver platter if we don't do something fast. Yeah, things aren't looking so hot. Just can't sit on my ass and wait. I gotta go find him. At least before HQ does. I have to know the truth. I mean, he'd never do shit like this without a good reason. Listen, Kido-san. They say Arai-san does have a reason. How exactly are you going to explain that to the Jojo clan brass? Huh? What do you mean? Remember, their relationship with the UNOC was gone sour. But all that gets swept under the rug if they hand over Arai-san. The Tojo doesn't give a damn why he did what he did, or even if he did it at all. The only thing that matters is that he's in, he's their way out. So what, he just gets to be their sacrifice? Pretty much. But he... Look, Arisan's a smart guy. He knows this isn't about whether or not he can prove he's innocent. That's why he's gone into hiding. So, what do we do? Money? Take it. Huh? What's this for? This is the only way I can help now. Find our ice on before the Tojo or the police do. We can worry about the rest then. But Akiyama-san. Use whatever money you need to track him down. I've got other work to do. And you're the only person I can count on. Akiyama-san. Why are you doing all this? Let's just say it's an investment. Our ice on's worth it. I don't get it. Why do you care so much about Arianaki anyway? Does it really matter? Yeah, actually it does. I'm looking for him because I want answers. And I'm not taking this cash until you tell me what you're up to. Please. I need to know. Fine. Truth is, a few years back, Arai-san saved my life. What? You serious, Akiyama-san? Sure, I am. Speaking of, did you ever hear about how I used to be homeless? Well, uh, I know the rumors at least. Is it really true? You know, before I got booted to the curb, I had a job at a bank, a place called Tauto. Just an everyday working stiff. You were a banker? Yeah. That was over half a decade ago. I was on my way to the top, living on Easy Street up until six years ago. I got a law degree from Tauto University. Joined Tauto Bank. Launched my career as one of the top young financial engineers in the biz. So then how'd you end up wind up homeless? I got fired. 
back in early 2005. Fired. What did you do to deserve that? Embezzlement. They said I was pinching money from the bank. Okay. What? Why'd you do that? I didn't. I never touched even a single yen. Hmm? I'm not following. It was a setup. The bank framed me. Slapped me with this embezzlement charge, then fired me on the spot. That's bullshit. Yeah. That's what I thought too. Told myself there must have been a mix up. But a million yen went missing from one of my client's accounts. And landed itself right in my own. Oh. So that's why they fired you. Yep. That's the gist of it. They told me they wouldn't press charges so long as I accepted my termination quietly. I allowed every lead. I followed every lead to find the truth. Blew through my entire life savings in the process. But I struck out swinging. Ended up broke out on the streets of Kamurocho. Almost. Just like that. I always thought making it big would be easy, but it turns out you need cash and trust to do it right. I never had either to begin with. All I, w I, was, o I was only ever playing with other people's money. Then where in the world did you find enough funding for your own loan business? On the ground. Huh? Fell from the sky like paper or rain. All I had to do was scoop it up. You're full of it, man. What, you never heard? A Millennium Tower explosion, billions sent through the flying through the city. Oh, right. But wait, that's how you got got your money. Yep, at least the first million or so ran around like a chicken with its head cut off. I figured the big man up there was giving me another shot at life. Man, I can't tell if you're the unluckiest guy in the world or the luckiest. Same. <laughs> that makes two of us. That million was as precious as life itself to me. Understandable. But a guy's gotta sleep. And if you're passed out on the street, you make an easy target. Someone take it? Pack of street clubs, yeah? Ever heard of homeless hunting? Yep. People go around beating the crap out of the less fortunate just for a little fun. Hold on. This story's going where I think it's going. Yep. Arai-san saved me. He was just another punk, had barely joined up with Kanemura. But there he went, gained everything back from those bastards. All for some random homeless nobody. Why'd he do it? Not sure, but I was pretty happy I cried ugly tears. That's when Arai-san promised he'd turn this town around. Anaki. I knew in that moment, if I ever made good on my million yen, I put all my chips on him. What do you mean? Well, I figured one of these days he'd rise up to be king of this concrete jungle. Mm hmm. Kamarocho attracts all kinds of people. Weak, strong, you name it. It really is a jungle out there. But there's something everyone who comes here has in common. Which is what? A dream. Every single person has some grand vision they're reaching for. Like what? Landing the perfect woman, hitting it rich, seizing power. Everyone's got something, no matter how insignificant that something might seem. Barely a soul actually achieves it. Even so, people just don't abandon their dreams. They're what keeps us trudging forward. You get me? Yeah. People want to see those dreams come to fruition. So what this town needs is someone who can show them that it's possible. Someone like Arianaki? Bingo. For better or for worse, strength is what wins people over. And Arai-san's got it in spades. I've seen that firsthand. A jungle's nothing without its king. This town needs a king now more than ever. 
Kamurocho's always looked to the Yakuza to find its lions. Or dragons. But Kazuma Kiryu's out of the picture and nobody stepped in to fill the void. Without a leader, even the toughest prides will scatter. Find a new king somewhere else. It's that's like pretty deep. For all those non forget all this nonsense about jungles. What I'm saying is I'm putting all my chips on our Ari-san. Got it. I'm in on that dream too. I'll find a Ryanaki no matter what. And I'll use this money to make it happen. Good. Drop me a line if you learn anything. Of course. I'm back. Oh, Kido-san. Hey ya. He's such a good guy. That took longer than I expected. Well, yeah, that was like... 10 minutes of, like, cutscene. I wasn't expecting that, were you? Maybe I should go check in on Lily's chun. What are you talking about? You got depth, depth to collect. Mm -hmm. Did someone have a deadline today? Today? Try three days ago. People don't pay on time unless you remind them. What if they skip town? Alright, alright. So, uh... Who were we talking about again? The owner of uh, Marimba. That bar in the Champion District. Now go collect that payment. Marimba. Right. Uh, you promised you'd take care of it on time. But you went and blew it off like always. Did I? Well, there's no time like the present, right? Just make sure you actually go this time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Freedom of movement? Freedom? Head to Marimba. Not yet, apparently. Mushi Mushi. Akiyama-san. This is Tanuma from Elise. Hey, Tanuma, what's up? Lily showed up for work. If you have time to spare, you should come give her some pointers. Right. Okay, I'll be there in a bit. Great, we'll see you soon. Kanashan's not gonna like this, but I better pop by Elise for a minute. Okay, well, oh, actually, right now, those three sub-stories are, in fact, open. So, so that way I don't accidentally start triggering any of them. Um, we're doing the cut a lot earlier than I was expecting. I was thinking we'd get just a little further, which does not bode well for the rest of this chapter. Um, yeah. So I will see you in a moment. Alrighty. I am back. Done a lot. Got us some levels. You'll see all that stuff in the next couple days. Um. So where we were at was... Uh, um, this has been, it's been a few hours for me. Hanashan wanted us to go collect something. Manager of Lee say, hey, Lily's here. You should stop by. And uh, our boy here is like, yeah, I'm going to go do that. Here we are. I also, of course, proceeded to do everything but either of those things for the past couple hours. So, yeah. Lanachan's going to be pissed. But oh well. Hey, I'm here to train Lily Chan. She in? Yes, sir. She's waiting in the back room. Oh, before you go, here are the funds we've set aside for her training. Please limit your spending on her to the salon. Guess I don't have much choice. Good idea keeping this separate from the club's finances, though. Also, I'm also assigning uh, Naoki to assist you. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you, sir. I'll help however I can. Sounds good. Now then, let me show you to the back room. Is this just all a complicated way of... Yes, please pick an outfit. Okay. Yep, okay. At our club, girls go out into clubs to entertain customers three times during their workday. Yep, it's the same thing. 
There's a short, there is a short rest period between each shift. During this time, you can adjust your outfit or provide additional training. We'll talk more about training next time. Actually, yeah, I'd, I'd rather just get straight into base training. Okay, so we're going to... Okay, outfit selection. That one, I think that one's fine. I think that night, or that... I, th I think the outfit's fine. Accessories. Maybe do some petite earrings. Necklace is okay. Rings. Heart ring. Watch. Simple watch. Bracelets. No, we won't double that up. Finish. Okay. And she's number 13. Finish. Yes. Yeah, we, we, we only we only went for some accessories. We don't need this whole spiel. That, that's all, all we did is a little bit of accessory change. Refined, cute. Okay, motivations high, stress is low. Perfect. Let's see if I can remember to do this. Oh wait. Okay. No, we just we just gotta go into the club. Looking good. Think so. Of course. Now go get him. Okay, I'll do my best. You feel for your customers' preferences walking around the club. Mm-hmm. Okay, where is... Okay. Ton of customers requesting her. Cool. Refined, classy. Just do a walk around. Refined. Yep. Luckily, we can just do this walk, a simple walk around. Because this club's actually set up competently. Okay. So now we're in that break period. Just go out into the club. Because there's not much more we can do with the limited funds. Check on her. And a customer's requesting her. Culture. I think that's refined. Refined. Debonor. Don't know what that fuck. I I recognize the word, but I don't know what the bonaire means. At all. That that's a like a word a day calendar word. I, I would do more like more training, but there's there's not much to do, so we just gotta send her back out. I was hoping we could actually do like training training. Ton of customers requesting her. Okay. Sorry, I'm double checking to make sure I am recording because I would be very angry if I wasn't refined classy. Yep, done surveying. Like seriously, this club set them way much, way better than the one in um, Okinawa Kiri you helped. So much better. Thank you, I'll contact you later for the results. See you next time. All this just as an introduction to... Now that that's settled, it's time to pay Marimba a little visit. Just got to over to the Champion District. Ah, I mean, from where we were at, technically, we were just on the way. It was a pit stop. Still haven't cleared those mails from when we did the th thing. I'll do that. Up. This is from episode 10, which you will see in two days. Because we finally did the hostess stuff. We have all of Akiyama's stuff done, save for the chapter. Also, we are much stronger. Yeah, try to put me six feet under.
Like, we're significantly stronger. Like, you'll be the first to see. This You'll see. Pop, pop, pop. You'll see all of our upgrades firsthand. Go watch me not have them for a couple, for an, like most of an episode. And then by the end of. Who's our Tuesdays? The end of Friday's episode. You'll see me get him back in the first place. It'll be weird. Smack you in the face with the sign. Yeah. That's what I thought. Shit, you're strong. Well, I got the wrong guy. So very sorry. Accept this. A sorry stamina X. Hey, I'll take it. Oh. The entrance is up here. I was trying to walk through a wall. Over. Oh, that's, that's the person from... Uh, Mama's place. Um... Wait a second. Mm, it's locked. Anybody home? This is it's Akiyama from Sky Finance. No response. This isn't the from the one sub story, is it? Huh? Drama Queen. This is the place Lily said she used to work. Hey cutie, you into that sort of thing? I'm sorry. You're taking a lot of mighty long look at a drama queen there. So what if I was? <laughs> oh, you naughty boy. You know that's an Okoma bar, right? Heh. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you do. An Okoma bar? You serious? Mm-hmm. And you looked awfully interested, just saying. Don't worry, though. I'm not judging. Oh, it's not like that. It's just, I know this girl who used to work here is all. Sure you do. I'm in denial here too, honey. The manager here is totally my type, but he's straight as an arrow. He says he only dates real girls. Sorry to hear that. Not the most open-minded girl or guy in the world, huh? Nope. But hey, forget him. Come have a drink over where I work. I'll give you a stiff one on the house. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to take a rain check. Things to do, places to be, you know? Maybe some other time, okay? Anything you say, hot stuff, I'll be waiting. Drama queen, qu Queen's in a common bar, huh? Why did Lily lie about working here? Maybe I should head inside. I got a bad feeling about this. A very bad feeling about this. Nice screen sa Ooh, saver. What the? He's... He's dead. It's been like this for a few days now. By the smell of it. Okay, guess we're examining. The Shibata family crest. Guess that means the owner was in cahoots with Shibata? Alright, uh, Reek's in here. He's probably been right, rotting for a while now. Okay, any any other clues? The lighters with the bar's name on it. They probably handed them out to customers in the hopes that other people would see it. Viral marketing or whatever. These are just like the ones Lily Chan had. had. And out of, you know, the two rows left, there's one specifically missing from that one. That's probably what I'm going to find. I better get out of here before someone sees me. Yeah, that would be a wise idea. John McQueen's manager is dead. Murdered, and a few days ago, by the looks of it. He was practically naked, too. Just like how Kido-chan found old man Kanamura. Was it the same killer? Maybe someone from the Shibata family? You okay, sweetie? You look like you saw a ghost. Oh, uh, yeah. 
You don't sound okay. Why don't you come relax over at my bar? I appreciate the offer, but I've got places to be, sorry. Aw, oh, you're no fun. We got the music. Yep. Just, just walk away like... Like nothing happened. I mean, honestly, I would probably be... Like... If I was the owner of that bar, like... I mean, yeah, they probably skipped town, but I would probably stay home from a couple days if I potentially heard a murder going on next door. Just saying. Anyways, this music is like... Mm. The thing that makes me happy is that, like, you guys are able to hear it properly now. Is I figured out some audio. And hopefully this audio is sounding good too. I don't know. I haven't done edi any editing yet. Pretty much what I do is I record a bunch and I edit. And if I don't like the way it's coming out, change settings. Try to figure out what's going to work for me. I still haven't figured it out. And we're over 200 episodes in like 240 by now or at least close to anyways what a headache hope you got my pain meds ready Hana chan no don't Hana chan please say something chief welcome back who did this? What happened here? These guys, they... U.S. Inusiwa? Or Shibata? Kido-san! I've been here way too long. I was just out grabbing a few things. I'm oh, sorry, it's all good. Sorry for barging in like this. Chief, so on collection duty right now. It should be back in just a jiff, though. Here, I'll pour you some tea. You don't have to do that. What brings you by? You forget something here? Actually, there's this thing I'm looking to run by Akiyama-san. Try to sell on everything, but I couldn't get through. Welcome to the club. He always switches off when he's uh, out wandering. Says he doesn't like people ruining his vibe. Wonder anything? It's a wonder anything gets done around here. That's Akiyama-san for you, Kido. What? What? What is up with you? Don't think they're here for a loan. Again? You guys are worse than roaches. Sorry, but you're gonna have to leave. Chief isn't here, though. Though, if you really insist, I'll be glad to kick you out myself. Oh. Pistol whipped. Oh. So did Kido defend? Sorry, Chief. I tried to stop him, but... No. I should have been here to protect you. I'm the one who should apologize. Was it their Shibato goons again? No, it was some guy na named Midorikawa from the Hatsushiba clan. Hatsushiba clan? That's right. And he said something about their boss and Shibata being real tight. The guy really knew how to run his mouth. He kept telling me stuff I didn't even ask about. It sounded like the Shibata clan was helping the Shibata family track down Kido-san. You're at Kido-chan? Where is he? Anyway. That's just it. Kido-san was here when they showed up. Midori Kawa got... jumped him. Then they hauled him off to who knows where. They took Kido-chan? He didn't stand a chance. He was completely outnumbered. Hmm. Um, Chief? Oh, sorry. I'm just thinking of something. So they took Kido-chan. The question is why. No idea. 
oh, that Midori Kawasan also stole our client registry. It sounded like he, that's what he brought them here in the first place. He said it was just, he was just borrowing it, but I seriously doubt he'll be bringing it back anytime soon. Our registry? What would they want with that? Who knows? I'm more worried about Kido-san. Agreed. Sounds like he needed to pay those Hatsushiba guys, uh, Sounds like I need to pay those Hatsushiba goons a little visit. Collect on what they borrowed. Go get them, chief. Just don't do anything crazy, okay? I'm not going to leave you like this, Hanachan. But where in the hell are the cops? Didn't anyone see those bastards bust in? Don't worry about me. I already called for an ambulance. Heh. <laughs> you really all are on top of everything, aren't you? Well, sit tight. I'm not going to... I'm going to go get Kido-chan and that registry back. You got it, Chief. Okay. Midorikawa. Man, oh man, the perfect shot's so... The perfect shot is so close I can almost smell it. Or did I forget to wear deodorant? There is only one energetic foreigner who's cares about the perfect shot and it's our boy mac you there did you see those dudes fight uh flashing their muscles like it's nobody's business nothing quite as dangerous as a thug with something to prove but hey that's what kamarocha is all about the glitz the glamour the gigantic guy shaking down passerby not that i like that last part tough dudes maybe he's talking about the midori kawa Hold on there, buddy. Think we can talk for a second? Come on, come on. Sorry for flagging you down like that. Mind if we chat for a few? <laughs> of course not. I love uh, talking to washed up porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was not expecting to uh, read those words today. I'm Mac, photographer by trade, observer of humanity at heart, and I mean all humanity. Right. And sorry to break it to you, but I'm actually a moneylender. I run a place called Sky Finance right there. The name's uh, Akiyama. I was hoping you'd be able to fill me in on those tough dudes you were talking about before. Hey. Sure thing, Slick. Those scary-looking dudes were filling, uh, filing down the street one after another like the world's least cheerful conga line. Wasn't sure what was happening, but I knew something mega was about to hit. I was practically quaking in my sensible boots. Back up a second. You mentioned something about a shot, too. Did you take pictures of this? Did do you take pictures of this kind of stuff as it goes down? These aren't any old pictures, man. I've been traveling the world for what feels like eons, searching for for, for the photograph to end all photographs. The perfect shot. Uh-huh. Look at me running my mouth like it's a dang marathon, Akiyama-san. Have you ever seen a sight so incredible it made you realize something about the nature of the world? Uh, not that I can remember. Folks call those revelations a flash of inspiration, a spark in the old noggin, a rush of idea juice running, flooding through your mind. Yeah, that's definitely never happened to me before. Yeah. Then maybe it's about time it does. And what's more, these revelations hold the key to the perfect shot. I'm sure of it. Yeah, sure. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Anyway, about those tough dudes you mentioned. Yeah. Hold up, the greatest idea just snapped across my neurons. Maybe you can help me try to find the perfect shot. I mean, sure, but I'd rather just hear about... Then it's settled. Come on, it's hunting time. And we're hunting the biggest game of all, art. I guess I'm gonna have to put up with this nut job for now. Oh. Don't look now, Akiyama-san. I just caught a glimpse of something good. I just caught a glimpse of something good, too. Shiny. Oh boy, our first revelation. Oh, ho, 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 ho. something's up with the la that lady. You're gonna snap a shot of whatever it is. All you've gotta do is whip it out. Your phone, I mean. And etch that moment into 
digital divinity. Don't worry, the government probably won't see your photos later. My phone camera, huh? Alright, let's see what I can do. Uh-huh. We, we, we know what we're doing here. We are revelation professionals. Okay. What do we have? First revelation of the series. Or of the game. You know what I meant. Stop. Give those back. What? Thief! What? What the hell? Do it. Oh, I thought I thought it was gonna. That's not how I thought it was gonna land. <laughs> what the hell is going on? This is the best start ever. This is a great revelation to start on. Oh god. Okay, um... Those leaps and bounds were something else. That has to be it. That has to be it. Yes. Cool. Revolution attained. Oh, it's not like a full... Okay, so we're sending it to Mac this time around. Hey, Mac. Is this the kind of mail you want? Man, there are really some perverted freaks at Kamarocho, but I was unable to lock a new technique from his movements. They were almost a work of art. It's a revelation. Hey. Essence of Shovel Strike. Wow, we, Akiyama-san. You really did it. I think I'm ready to let my photographic prodigy out into the wild. Guess that means all... Mac is an empty nester again. There, there, big guy. I'll text you whenever I find a new shot, okay? It'll be like I never left. Anyway, think you can tell me about those guys you were talking about before? Oh, right. It totally slipped my mind. I saw them clamber down the stairs onto Tenkaichi Street, but I lost, uh, but I lost them after that. Hard to see through all of the buildings, you know. Tenkaichi Street. Got it. It's not, that's not much of a lead, but at least it's something. Thanks for the info, Mac. You got it, Akiyama-san. May your humble camera lead you to unforgettable discoveries. Oh. I was... I was not ready for that. One bit. Is, is that just Mac messaging me? Perfect. Okay. Number two, okay. Okay, so what so what you're telling me is honestly this would have been a better spot because we could have also gathered revelations. Okay. But do you know what? We're gonna make this episode go a little longer. Staple in a little bit of non-story stuff. Because I want to find those other two revelations. I hate to do it in one video. But it's not like I have much of a choice. So I'm going to go hunt down revelation number two. And we're just going to shotgun them all of Akiyama's now. So that way, something that I'm going to say in episode 10, which I've already said, but you haven't seen it yet, will actually be true still. So... Give me a minute. Hello everyone, uh, Editing Lupus here. This episode has gone a lot longer than I thought it was. In fact, at the time of recording this outro here, um, 
I still haven't finished the actual chapter because it's just taken so long. So I'm separating this not into two parts, but into three because they kind of just have like three distinct parts to it. So I figured that would be the most digestible way to do this. So I'm just popping in to say, hey, if you haven't already, no, hit that like button really helps me out leave me a comment also helps me out tremendously and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that way you know when parts two and three of the finale of Akiyama's story is coming at you that's all I have to say for you today until next time